Hey guys, what's going on? Bryce here from Nautical T4R, and today we are going to be covering a snow foam cannon from Amazon. Uh, I picked this one up for about 16 bucks or so uh, on Amazon. Wanted to see how it performed. Uh, Try to clean the forerunner up a little bit better with the, the snow foam coverage, as well as the regular kind of uh, kind of fan washing we could do. Uh, so today we're going to unbox this guy. We're going to hook it up to the electric power washer. And we're gonna see how it cleans uh, the Forerunner and how, how well it actually foams up the soap uh, from a cheaper uh, snow foam cannon as opposed to a uh, more expensive, higher end one. See if it does just about as good of a job uh, as those other ones do for a cheaper price. Let's go ahead and let's unbox it. All right, so we got the Matte C Matte. Whatever that one is right there, you guys can see. Uh, MATCC, uh, the Snow Foam Lance pressure washer, uh, pressure washer machine, or pressure washer gun. Uh, this is the one we got off Amazon again. Uh, I'll put a link to it in the description below. Uh, again, no affiliate links, nothing like that. I don't get paid for the kind of stuff. I'm just trying to help you guys out. I'm getting the, uh, the links possible to get the same stuff I'm getting. Uh, but we got the Snow Foam Cannon right here. And you guys can see we got some specifications right there on the side. If you guys want to be able to see that one, I don't know if it's focusing or not. Be able to see that one, you guys can pause it and read it. We got the good old bottle right here. Pretty large size right here. It's about, this one says a thousand milliliters. Not too bad. Comes with a little instruction guide on how to use it. Set that off to the side. And then we also have the top part. Nothing else on the box. We got the hose that goes in it. And we also have the nozzle itself. So this nozzle right here, you can see it has an adjustable uh, adjustment right here. This is gonna be for the uh, liquid to foam ratio that's inside, that comes from inside your bottle. Uh, whether you want a sudsier liquid or a more uh, liquidy soap that goes on there and then of course you have your nozzle right here which is going to help uh, it's going to help give you the wider or narrower stream on your uh, on your foam itself so all we really got to do is hook up the nozzle to the hose and then once we do that we can go ahead and fill this bottle up uh, fill this bottle up here and then we can go ahead and uh, start putting some foam on the 4Runner. Uh, today I'm going to be using uh, the Tough Mudder from Chemical Guys. So if you guys want to use that one, I'll let you guys know how it actually works inside the foam cannon uh, and we can kind of work from there. All right. All right guys, I went ahead and rinsed down the 4Runner. Uh, before I went and put the foam cannon on there, I already got my foam cannon loaded up. Uh, just about to the top of water and then did one squirt of the Tough Mudder uh, car soap in there from Chemical Guys. I went ahead and put that in there. Uh, just a squirt of that one. Uh, so we'll go ahead and we'll see what the foam looks like. Uh, see if it produces good. And again, it does have the adjustment here for more water, less soap, and then less soap, more water. See if we can get the consistency right to where we can get a good uh, and get a good foam uh, on the car. And hopefully the 15 bucks is, uh, is well worth it. Let's go ahead and check it out. And again, for this one, it's got the quick connect on it. Uh, got the quick connect right there, so you just hook it up to the little quick connect on the on the nozzle itself, like that. And you guys should be good to go. All right guys, so after one pass, you guys can see uh, it's pretty well foamed up. I took a little bit to get some adjustments there, make sure you get the right soap to water ratio. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a close up so you guys can see what this actually looks like. So 
as you guys can see, we got the uh, we got the foam going. It's not too bad. Uh, as you guys can see, it got pretty well coverage on there. Not too terrible. It's pretty good. Pretty good foam you guys can see on there. It's not too bad. Again, we maybe use a little bit more use and a little bit more uh, a little bit more fine adjustments on this thing. You probably get a better foam out of it. But overall, not too terrible. Uh, I'm not that upset with it. We'll continue to use it. I'll wash the rest of the car and uh, let you guys kind of know how it went. All right. All right guys, so uh, initial thoughts after I got done, soaping up the vehicle, cleaned it, washed it, everything. Uh, I didn't record that part of it, didn't want to bore you guys with the entire wash of my car. Uh, but you guys saw the pictures from all the, the foam once it came out and how I applied it and everything. Uh, so initial thoughts with this guy. So I had originally filled it up to about a thousand milliliters of water and added in uh, a couple squirts of the Tough Mudder. Uh, to get it kind of soapy. Uh, I did one whole side of the car and part of the front and I pretty much used this entire bottle just on one side. Um, you know, my initial thoughts on that one, I feel like the bottle could maybe be able to do a little bit more coverage in just that one whole side before we go ahead and clear out the entire bottle of soap and water. Uh, so I had to fill it up again and add some more Tough Mudder to finish out the rest of the front, the back and the other side of the vehicle. Um, so. Initial thoughts on that one, I wish it would have been able to have a better, uh, I guess a better ratio, a better timeline, as far as uh, being able to use this for the majority of the car instead of just one whole side of it. Uh, again, having a full runner, maybe if you had a smaller car, might work a little bit better for you, or even if you have a larger truck uh, or a four runner itself, uh, you may have to refill it a couple different times. Uh, and again, this being the first time I've ever used it, maybe I'm using it wrong, it might be operator error, no idea, right? So from what I'm gonna end up doing, I'll end up testing this a little bit more throughout the time. Maybe, uh, again, I'll be able to get a little bit more foam if I use a different kind of soap as opposed to this one. Uh, if you guys have a soap that you usually use in your foam cannons, if you guys already have one, uh, leave a comment down below on which soap you guys actually use. Uh, maybe I'll be able to charge for, switch something up. Maybe it'll be a little bit better for me on that one. Uh, just let me know down in the comments. The uh, uh, Other than that, I think the coverage on this one is pretty well. Uh, it does what it's intended to do. Uh, it gets out of foam on the car. Uh, it looked pretty good when I used it. It wasn't wasn't super, super crazy. All those videos you see of them having these big, thick, uh, slow rinsing foams off the cars and everything like that. Uh, but it does get the, uh, the car foamy. Uh, it definitely gets the soap on the vehicles, which, which is pretty good. And again, for 15 bucks, you can't beat it. Uh, go on Amazon uh, and try to check that one out. Uh, 15 bucks for this guy. Uh, I went ahead and cleaned the car too with the, uh, with the chemical guys, the uh, extreme body wash and wax uh, on that one. Um, so I didn't, I didn't end up showing that one on there. Uh, maybe if I use this one in there, it might act a little bit different. Uh, not too sure. Again, I'll have to go and uh, try that over time and see how it works. Uh, but I did use the Tough Mudder on that one. You guys saw how it worked. Uh, again, uh, nothing, nothing super big to complain about on this one. Uh, it works as it's intended. Uh, maybe if you have a different pressure washer as well, uh, it might work a little bit different. I got a 1600 PSI uh, Ryobi electric one. Um, let me get, let me know what you guys use. If you guys use a gas power one or electric one, maybe it'd be a little bit different. Uh, but yeah, again, that's pretty much it for today. Uh, I'll let you guys know how this one works out in the long run. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, if you guys like what you saw, be sure to like and subscribe for more videos of this, uh, of these kind of things. We'll do more uh, install videos, how-to videos, try to cover more stuff on uh, different trips. Uh, we go on with the Forerunner, uh, any kind of Forerunner stuff. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe and follow along uh, for the for the journey. Other than that, I appreciate you guys. Thanks.